You know how you would bounce a session. You would make a selection probably of the entire timeline that you want in your bounce and you would choose bounce mix and it would create a bounce of all of the tracks mixed together. The track bounce function creates a bounce of a single track. And maybe it's not just one track that I want. I want all of the tracks in my session to have all of their processing rendered into them, all of the pan and automation and whatever rendered into files on disk. When you do a track bounce, keep in mind, it's a bounce just like when you go to the file menu and you choose bounce mix. By that, I mean, if something's muted, it won't be included. I mean, it'll be included, you'll get a file, but it'll be silent, right? Um, if another track is soloed, same thing. The track that you're doing the bounce on is gonna be implicitly muted, so it's, you're not gonna hear it. And lastly, if you have an edit selection, that's what gets bounced. So probably you either want no edit selection or you want an edit selection, most likely, that starts at the beginning of the song and ends at the end of the song. So that the bounced thing is a file that's the exact duration of the song and it'll line up with all the other files that you're bouncing at the same time. Let's just for simplicity, talk about this bass track and this synth track. I can use track bounce and I can bounce both of those tracks at the same time by selecting them first and then going to the, uh, the track menu because it's a track based command and then choosing the bounce command here. Notice the keyboard shortcut in this case is a little bit longer than the ones we've seen so far. So option shift command B. If you choose that, you get a dialog box that looks very much like the bounce mix dialog box. The big difference being that we're bouncing individual tracks, not a blend of tracks. So at the top, it get, lets you give a name prefix to the files that you're about to create. It'll take the name of the session by default, but you can use whatever you want. Then you can choose the type of track or the type of file that you're creating from the bounce. We have choices of AIFF, WAVE, MP3, or MXF. You might remember MXF is a format that Media Composer uses. It's called the Material Exchange Format. Um, so files in that format can be imported into Media Composer. If you're not planning to go to Media Composer, you'll use one of the other file formats. But let's just say we'll stick with WAVE files for that. Then we have choices in here that are very much like what we saw in commit tracks. Render the volume, render the pan. Um, down here, then we can choose what happens if we are, for example, creating a stereo file. Is it going to be interleaved or multi-mono? You can choose your sample rate and bit depth. And then you can choose what happens after you bounce. You have the option to import the files after the bounce. Most of the time, we probably wouldn't do that. Um, and then you can choose where the files go. By default, they'll go into your bounce files folder. I'm gonna create a different destination for these files and I'm gonna call it the stem files folder. Call it whatever, but the point is you could create a new folder in here and when you run it, doesn't matter that that folder doesn't currently exist. Pro Tools will create the folder inside your session folder based on the naming that you give it here. Once again, I'm gonna do offline processing so it happens fast. And then I'm gonna click bounce and it's gonna take those two tracks and bounce them out as files on disk. Doesn't make any change inside, inside of Pro Tools because I didn't ask it to, but I could now go look at that stem files folder and see the results. There's the stem files folder that I created when I did the bounce. And inside that, we now see two different files. There's my bass and there's my synth. You'll notice that if you did create stereo uh, clips, stereo files from it, they'll have an ST extension. If you created mono files, they'll have an M. So I just wanna re-emphasize, re you can choose as many tracks as you want and you can bounce them all at the same time. You could choose all of the tracks in your session and it'll create rendered versions of each one of those individual tracks. One really good way to use this is after you've submixed your tracks, you submix the drums to an aux, you submix the guitars to an aux, you submix the vocals to an aux, then you can use the aux track 
as the source for your track bounce and you'll get stem files that represent all of your guitars, all of your vocals, all of your drums and so forth.